I asked Brian Weiss, I said, listen, coming into the semifinal matchup in the final, why JB Fisher or Paul Vera? And he said, listen, no disrespect to all of my boys on the bench, but I needed someone steady next to the Zawadzki in the middle of the field. Dante Povera is a guy that can stretch the game, but J.B. Fisher wears the number eight, plays like the number eight, keeps the calm collectiveness in the middle of the field that you're looking for from an upperclassman. Oh, wonderful, like he had eyes in the back of his head. What a switch there from J.B. Fisher. Pierre's corner into the middle of the box, headed in! It's J.B. Fisher's! Scoring a brilliant goal off the service from Rivier. Oh, wonderful. Like he had eyes in the back of his head. What a switch there from J.B. Fisher. Sheffield, England. Georgetown now. First hit over the top. Of the entire year. Now, they're not near halftime yet. You have plenty of time to put the ball on the deck and play. But confidence is key right now. The defeat of Jacob Montes. Dotson. Scooping tackle there. No foul. Dotson is brought down. Free kick. Daniel Wu. Gave it away. The fact. Oh, look at this. Huge tackle in the end. The pacing Nathaniel Croft seemed like he was in. Time now beginning to prey on the minds of Virginia. The Cavaliers and Boyas. J.B. Fisher for Georgetown. Fisher converts. The pressure now on Virginia. Uh, all of a sudden, you see a different team out there, but from a, the standpoint of team shape and structure, things did not change here with all these substitutions tonight. Fisher brought down. Free kick, Georgetown. Level never drops off. Tactic. He'll find him. I think if he was going to head that one, bring it down, and Lex to hit it first time. And of course, men's soccer played on campus sites. Higher seats getting home games. Now Dotson, right footed shot! And one into the post here. As you're right, it's a good run for Fisher. Dotson just peels away. Finds Lox near the end line, pulls it back. Through several players, it's a shot! Great save by Rosenberg, rebound, it's a goal! Has just had all sorts of success here. And he certainly believes that... A lot of times, strikers want to continue to run forward, but when you see the defense backing up, Dotson just holds that run up and has three yards of space in front of him. Great skill in the 66th minute of play. Only one of those has found its way behind Matthew Rosenberg. That was a 14th minute tap in from Jacob Montez. Montez to Fisher, Nealis wants it on the back post. Fisher's gonna unload from deep, just wide of Stern. His goal. And Fisher strikes as clean of a ball as anyone on this Georgetown team. Up to the challenge. It looked like there was a screen in front of him as well. Stern up to this Georgetown team and what must go on in the trainings and the quality of players that Coach Reese has at his disposal that are coming off the bench. They gave Georgetown all they could handle, particularly in the first half of the Big East final, and that is a team that Craig Stewart has that certainly. JB Fisher's first touch, the senior. And the McKee come back next Saturday at noon, same time, same place. Couldn't think of a better way to celebrate in a contest like this his pace, his finishing ability. Georgetown definitely needs a spark in this attack right now. And you see what Jamie Clark is doing here. All 11 players packed within, you know, 50 yards from Fowler's goal. And it's a 4-4-2 across the field, and they are staying together as a unit. 
Dotson leaves for B. Reeser and Megan Caffrey with you at Shaw Field. The Georgetown student faithful ringing the field as Riviere receives. Georgetown team that has been brilliant all season long who hadn't trailed for more than 30 minutes in a match. This fouled their O's. He and Montez combine. Fisher, a couple pirouettes, and now Zawatsky. It's Fisher. Now Dotson. Cut inside and find Fisher. And a terrific ball. It'll either be a Pac-12 rematch or the Hoyas will get a chance to face a Pac-12 opponent for the second consecutive time. Blocked by Segrist. And we have seen a couple of players lose their footing. Wonder if some of the guys at halftime will go to the longer studs as the field seems to be softer than it's been the last few weeks. Fisher, good ball into the chest of Dylan Nealis. to build up and try and push into the final third. This tackle right here by J.B. Fisher cannot be understated in importance. Donaciano had loads of daylight to run on this near touchline. The elements, he wasn't on the ball a lot. And discussing that with Brian Reese, you want to make sure to give him a bit of confidence early on in the match because of the fact that he basically faded after minute 20 last match. And we're talking about Tanner Beeson and his talent. Remember, this is only his 14th appearance on the year. A guy that from Sean Zawatsky. By the way, might have been a premonition because he rattled one. The, the 11 that he has on the field in the second half are showing great grit and fight here. Fisher, turning midfield, finds Beer. Check out battle Zawatsky. He has space. Derek Odom. Henderlong to his left. Good defending from J.B. Fisher. And only trailing once in a match. Yeah, that's right, because the little, little flare. Dotson, Nigerian striker. Dotson tried to flick that ball to Achara, but it was cut out by Samarone. Now Franklin for Marquette. Poor loss of possession allows Fisher to. Fisher and O'Hearn, good combination. JB, the senior on senior day. The way. Getz will come and grab it. Trying to get it to his left foot, but Fisher read it well. Sevi come, quote, tournament time. For Coach Weiss and the Hoya staff, it's continued the philosophy, whether that's the rotating goal. O'Hearn cutting inside. Georgetown's had it in Louisville's end for more than two minutes here. And finishing and Pascal Navach in just the second minute. Yeah, it's just quality. There's been quality all year from Montez and rightly rewarded as the midfielder of the year in the Big East. Replacing number 13. Uh, ball squirts to back post and then cleared by Fisher. It, 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 the Hoyas to 
earn possession. Now O'Hearn and early juniors and seniors for both teams contributing on the pitch right now. Yeah, both teams have lineups with all four classes represented. It's Zawatsky holding his knee. And now Fisher to Riviere and Goals at crucial times all season long for Montez. And no doubt a range of emotions in Scotland right now, Tom. Bobby Clark, father of Jamie, mentor to Bryce. And now Riviere tries to build through. Work that into my contract, though. The loop went up. That starts from the back to keep all of these boys in proper shape. And the discipline is obviously decision making in terms of the back line. And season, but boy, have the Hoyas shown resilience today. Yeah, they are a prolific offense, a stingy defense, and you talked about it. They just have not been down many in games, but the adversity in the second half is this is a new coaching staff supporting Brian Weiss this year. Local product with great energy. Riviera's corner into the middle of the box, headed in! It's J.B. Fishers scoring a brilliant goal off the service from Riviere and the senior from France and the PSG program deposits the header.